Do push-ups actually work? Oh. In the past video, we provided the top push-ups that would help you get as swole as possible. And now we're gonna analyze, do push-ups actually help for specific goals? And we're gonna start right now. So various goals and points in training come to mind when we talk about the actual adaptation that can happen from different styles of push-ups. A few key points that we have to discuss. Are you just doing push-ups or are you concurrently doing push-ups with resistance-based training? Another key factor is what's the age of the individual that we're training or what is the training age? How young are they in the realm of the training world? That's gonna have an impact on how well they adapt to specific things. Another big factor is what type of maximal load are we actually working towards for a specific goal? For example, are we trying to bench press 500 pounds? That's gonna have an impact on whether or not push-ups will work or the type of specific push-up that we would use to get to that end goal. And then finally, are there any distinct weaknesses that the athlete might have or the individual might have that we can resolve by doing various forms of push-ups? But what if we want a very specific adaptation? Let's pretend that we have a female that can bench press 270 pounds or a male that can bench press 500 pounds. That's a display of some type of strength speed, but not really speed strength. And if we can focus on something like speed strength, especially when we're doing push-ups, that can lead to an improvement in strength speed. This helps improve that factor by adding in more power output. So if we have better power output, that likely will lead to better performance for various different athletes. And it's important to understand that rate of force development wins in basically every single sport. So for training in a specific manner that increases strength, like just doing a traditional bench press at 270 or 500 pounds, one of those methods that we can use is using things like gorilla push-ups or explosive push-ups to boxes, and that in turn leads to speed strength gains, which in turn back ends the increase of power output, which ideally leads to better performance. And that's all done by enhancing the rate of coordination within the nervous system. If we can improve the neural drive, now we can recruit high threshold motor units at a faster pace, which leads to that greater performance and athletic ability. But what if we want a very specific adaptation? Simply put, what can you do? So if you're new to strength training, if we have a kid that walks in the door here at Garage Strength, one of the first things that we do is say, hey, you wanna improve your strength, try to work up to five sets of 20 of just traditional push-ups. It's gonna blow up your triceps, it's gonna blow up your shoulders, your pecs, and even your trunk control. Oh, I got a nice bump, baby. Now, for more advanced, okay, you've been in training for a while, your training age is pretty advanced, right? One thing you can do is really crazy push-up variations like an X push-up. This is a movement that's gonna really help you be more explosive and increase that coordination while maintaining trunk control. This will help improve your bench press. This will help with that power output. Now, if you have a specific weakness, you can find a push-up variation and use that as pre-fatigue. So you could do, let's say you have weak triceps, okay? You could do really narrow push-ups, get a little bit of pre-fatigue in the triceps, rest about 30 to 45 seconds, and go in and do a close grip bench. Now your triceps get a little bit more volume, and that's where using push-ups strategically can really help advance that muscle growth. So what if my goal is to get as swole as <clears throat> So the big question that you have to ask is what is the age or the training age of the individual that you're talking about, okay? Or the individual that you're trying to train, or you. Is that person seven years old? Are they 80 years old? Or are they more like 15 to 35? That's all gonna play a major role on how you use and implement push-ups. Are they brand new to training? So that would mean even if we have somebody who's 30 and they've never strength trained or resistance-based trained ever, their training age is going to be zero to one years, okay? If we have another individual who's 18, but they've been training since they're 11, their training age is actually seven years of age, okay? So that's gonna play a major role in how you use push-ups and the type of stimuli that you're trying to get from those specific push-up variations, which in turn will lead to a different form of adaptation. And that comes back to the younger the training age is for an individual, the more they can adapt and the more strength they'll gain simply by improving their coordination. So if someone has a training age that's only one to two years, 
it's really easy to get them strong because coordination is the main factor that you're looking for. And even here at Garage Strength, we've seen this anecdotally where we've seen push-ups improve women's bench presses all the way up past 225 pounds. And for high school men or collegiate men, all the way up to 350 pounds. So push-ups of various forms can help improve your overall coordination. Ooh, that was hard. So we know that volume is another factor. We know that one of the major forms of adaptation occurs from mechanical tension. Okay, so if we can do 20, 30, even 40 push-ups, over time, that volume is going to lead to some sense of muscular adaptation or muscular growth. But aren't push-ups only able to put about 80% of my body weight on my upper body to make me stronger? Yes, that is accurate, specific to traditional push-ups. However, one thing that we've got to figure out is, is the issue with the athlete or with you guys, is it based off of endurance? If it's based off of endurance, we can just do a ton of volume with high rep sets for push-ups. So you do five sets of 30, okay? If power output is your problem, then we can actually start to change that push-up variation. If your lockout in the bench sucks, we can give you those specific push-up variations that can help improve your lockout in the bench. So we can get a little bit more creative based off of each individual issue. So if we have someone that actually sucks at dumbbell bench, one thing we can do is actually potentiate their nervous system and their neural drive by doing ring push-ups. Now, if we have someone who has weak shoulders like Taman Johnson and they struggle at locking out, we can use handstand push-ups. Oh. Now, if we know that somebody has really weak triceps, one thing that we like to do is put them on PVC pipes or parallettes. And we wanna work their push-ups until their triceps are pulsing out of their skin. Ooh. So by using various angles and various push-up variations, it's a lot of variables, we can increase different aspects of overall performance, especially with pressing. Obviously, it's a press. If nothing else, push-ups are just still really fun, especially when traveling. When I'm traveling, I love to crush 500 push-ups as fast as possible to get that dummy pump. <sighs> Hell, I even love doing handstand push-ups and clap push-ups in front of the cleaning people in a hotel just so I can impress them. Yes, I'm not joking. I do that just to make myself feel better. Sometimes I question myself, am I a good person? Am I a good father? But those push-ups in front of the cleaning people, they confirm that I am. If you guys want more information and more push-up variations, check out this video right here. And if you're looking for a strength program that's geared specifically to your needs and your progress, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple Store, where you can get seven free days of training to help you get more swole. Because remember, freaks, if you guys want to become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.